What up y'all, Harry Wilmington here. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about escalating dates as it pertains to how much you're paying on these dates. Uh, I saw a Reddit post recently where a guy had a question and his question was basically that he took a girl out for a first date. It was a coffee date. They had a great time and she said she's down for a second date. So he was asking the people on Reddit if it was okay if for the second date he decided to take her to an opera. And he said the opera tickets were going to be $150 each. But he didn't know if that was too much to spend this early on or if it would be perfectly fine. And I know from personal experience that if I go on a couple of good first or second dates and I start thinking that this person is the person that could potentially be the one I want to date, that I'm all ready to spend any amount of money that's going to show them a good time and make them feel certain things that I want them to feel. At least that's how I operated back in the day where I was like, oh, if I spend a lot of money, then it's going to make them realize how impressed that I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to make an impression on them and they're going to like me. And this got uh, cut really early on because when I was 18 in college, my freshman year, there was this girl that had a crush on me. Like she had been I, I still didn't have game back then, but I could tell by the way she was acting when she was around me. She would like get silent and nervous and she'd be trying to follow me places. And so I got the idea real quick, like, oh, this girl actually likes me. And so I remember I took her out on a first date. It was a relatively, you know, relatively affordable date. I'm a college student. I didn't have a lot of money. So uh, I think I had some kickback from the scholarship that I got. So I took her out to like a meal or something like that. Had a great time, made her laugh, smile, all that great stuff. So after that first date, I was like, oh man, this she's fantastic. And on that first date, she had mentioned how she was a real big fan of Disney on Ice. And they, they were going to be coming to the city, but she wasn't mentioning it for that reason. She just had mentioned like, oh yeah, well, I think we had passed it on the way to the thing. It's like, oh yeah, Disney, Disney on Ice is coming. Oh, I really like that, blah, 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 blah. So because she had mentioned that, I was like, oh my God, I got the best idea. So for our second date, I'm going to get us tickets to Disney on Ice and I'm gonna get her some really good seats so she'll be able to be up close and personal. And again, college budget here. I probably spent a good like 45 bucks on both tickets, which I guess in 2000 was still like, you know, relatively expensive for tickets. But anyway, yeah, I got the tickets. I was all excited that I got these tickets and I was gonna show her a good time, right? So the, the, the day of the date comes, she has no idea where we're going. I pick her up and say, hey, I'm gonna take you out for a surprise date. And we get to Disney on ice and I'm thinking she's going to be like, oh my God, this is so great, blah, blah, blah. And instead she was just kind of like, oh, okay, awesome. And then during the course of the date, we're sitting there and I'm thinking she's going to be all excited and jovial and happy. And instead she's just sitting there just kind of like, oh, you know, whatever, this is snap. Anyway, after that date, I could not get her on any more dates after that. And I'm thinking like, what now? Now to be fair, hey, it could maybe it was my conversation. Maybe just during the course of that second date, she saw something about me that was just like not to her liking. I don't know. All I know is that the point is that that expensive date, at least expensive to me as a college student, did not result in her having feelings. And since that time, I've only done a couple of other times where like a second or third date I spent a lot of money on. And at no point in time did these expensive dates result in these women having a higher interest. So you got to look at why it is that you want to spend all that money and also why it is that more often than not, that's not going to effectively raise her interest. So the reason you're trying to spend a lot of money is because you think that if you spend a lot of money, it's going to equate with her having extra feelings for you because she's going to see the effort that was involved She's going to see the sacrifice that you made in order to even have this money to take her on this grandiose adventure, right? That's how guys are thinking of it. Because, you know, if you had a guy buddy that was like, hey, I'm going to just pay for, shoot, a drink at the bar for you, let alone I'm going to pay for a trip for you to go somewhere, or I got you, I got you dude for a concert, we'd be like, oh my God, this is definitely my, my true guy friend. He really, really likes me and our interaction because, you know, he's clearly sacrificing his money to do this, right? That's how we look at it. But how are women taking it? How women are taking it subconsciously is that you're trying to bribe her into a hookup and that you're thinking if you spend this money, she's going to now owe you a hookup somewhere later in that date. And to a woman, they don't want to feel pressured 
into doing things that either is not their thought or that they're not ready for. When you spend a lot of money early on in the dating process at a time where she is still trying to figure out if she even likes your company, all that subconsciously says to her is, this guy must be after a hookup. He's spending a lot of money right now. Is he gonna think that I owe him later? And hey, you could explicitly say to the girl, hey, just so you know, like you don't have to like hook up with me by way of me spending all this money on you. It does not matter because as I have learned through my own dating experience and through talking and interviewing women, there are a lot of times where a guy will say, oh, I'm not here for the hookup. Oh, I'm just trying to be nice. And then come to the end of the night, the guy gets frustrated when she's not ready to hook up. So even if you say to her verbally, I'm not trying to whatever, the reality is the action of you spending a whole lot of money early on is going to make women feel as though you're trying to hook up. And all, all that matters is how women are feeling. Women have had enough experiences dating guys that are trying to rush them into hookups as a result of first spending a lot of money on them that they're going to be apprehensive. And even if you are a different guy, you are not going to uh, completely wipe away the dating history they had of other guys that have spent a lot of money and then expected a hookup. So this is why early on, you are actually in the best position whereby you're not trying to spend a whole lot of money and you're focusing more on what experiences can we have that are going to allow her to get to know me, to build chemistry, to talk to her, to make her laugh, and for her to really have an authentic build of my like that's not because of me spending a lot of money and trying to bribe her, all right? So don't think you gotta be the guy that's gotta spend, go from like spending money on a coffee date to spending money on a trip or spending money on these expensive concerts or shows. Like you need to, in terms of how you're building up her like for you, it needs to be incremental. So maybe that first date, you get like a short little meal and some coffee. The second date, you might do a walk in the park, might do a museum trip, but you're trying to build up experiences more so than money. And then as you are having more dates, and more importantly, as she's saying yes to more dates, because you could go on a second date with a girl and spend a lot of money, and then she never want to see you again. I've had that happen. So as she's saying yes to more dates and showing up, and then you guys are starting to get a little more physical, and you're feeling each other, then you're hooking up, then you can start to say, okay, I'm going to spend a little bit more on this next date. Like maybe we'll go to a dinner place where it's like, it's, you know, 30 or $40 a plate instead of just like 10 or, or, or $20 a plate, you know? And, but you build that up as you're getting to know her. And most women understand this. Most women are actually fine with you not spending all the money in the world right away and uh, giving her time to actually prove to you why she's actually worth spending the money on in the first place, you know? So just so you guys out there that are worried about, is, is it okay if I, do I have to, is it, if I spend a lot of money on a second date, is that gonna be fine or whatever? I have found more often than not, women actually get freaked out and turned off by you spending a whole lot of money on them too early on, at least the good ones. The ones that are gold diggers, they'll they'll still spend your let you spend the money and then leave you. So either way, it's better You'll be able to suss out the gold diggers if you're not spending a whole lot of money and you won't scare away the women that are genuinely trying to get to know you for you if you don't spend a lot of money. So it's a win-win either way. So hopefully guys, this helps you out. For more of these shows, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com. Be sure to like the channel and subscribe to the channel as well. And I will catch you guys on the next episode of whatever the show is, all right? I'm out, peace. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are stop. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.